Hey everyone, and welcome to your guide for the Mercy Among Thieves and Off the Pilfered Path quest in Dragon's Dogma 2. Like many of these quest lines, this one has multiple different outcomes, but depending on other quests you complete, new options will unlock at the end. To begin this quest line, speak to this guy, Lissandro. He can be found just past the gate at Checkpoint Rest Town. He'll inform you of the gang known as the Coral Snakes, and you can agree to help him catch them. After speaking to Lissandro, you can also talk to the kid named Tommy in the same area. Giving him unspoiled food twice will cause Hugo to appear, thinking that you're threatening the kid, but then he'll leave once he realizes his mistake. It's not a required part of the quest, and I completely missed this, but I thought I'd mention it just in case you want to experience it for yourself. You will then need to walk south along the main road connecting Checkpoint Rest Town and Bakbatal, and a few NPCs will eventually come up to you and provide information on the Coral Snake's hideout. You'll meet a guy named Seferino, and then a guy named Hain, and eventually Benjamin, who's with the Batal guards. When I was doing this quest, I got distracted and took an ox cart to back Batal and ran north while looking for something else. If you end up doing it this way, you will miss the interactions with all those previous NPCs I mentioned, and instead you'll just skip to the part where you find Hugo and Thor standing among a wrecked ox cart. Benjamin and his guards will then magically appear, and you'll have to chase Hugo into the hideout. Once you're there, you'll run into two bandits, and killing them immediately brings up a prompt to use a wakestone. There is absolutely no point in using a wakestone on them, because they just get back up and start fighting you again, so don't bother. Just kill them once, decline the prompt, and then continue chasing Hugo through the hideout, killing all the bandits in your way. You can actually just run past them all if you're confident enough, and skip right to the ending cutscene. This is where the head leader, Lonzo, betrays Hugo. After you finish watching this, this will complete the Mercy Among Thieves quest, and you'll get 4,000 XP and 8,000 gold as a reward, and you can also loot the rest of the hideout if you wish for additional rewards. Now before doing part 2 of Hugo's quest, you'll want to do the following. First, make sure you've completed the Told to Rest quest. This is the one where you need to save Oscar from enemies on the road to the ancient battlegrounds, and then make sure he has the Grimoire book Nation's Death Knell in order to ring the bell in the castle. If you completed the quest Spellbound already, which required collecting this book, you can find a second copy of it in the Waterfall Cave north of Borderwatch Outpost. The cave is pretty big, and it does have two bosses in it, but you'll know you're getting close to the book if when you open your map it says 2F on it. The book is located in this chest on the floor above the Chimera fight, and upon opening the chest, a boss will spawn. After getting this book, you can bring it back to Oscar to receive the Ancient Battleground Key, which unlocks a door down the hall, leading to some awesome rewards. Those will be a Fairy Stone and the Infernal Edge Duo Spear. We've the key to hand, as I recall. Mayhaps we'll open the way. Let us see if it fits. The other thing you should do is decide where you want to send Hugo after you complete his questline. There is unfortunately no way for me to give this advice without spoiling the end of the quest, but if you get the good ending then you'll be able to give Hugo a job. Your choices for this are either sending Hugo to work at Isaac's Wares, which is in Bakbatal, or sending him to work at the Rose Chateau in Vernworth. If you want Hugo to work at the Rose Chateau, you'll need to complete the quest Every Rose Has Its Thorn, which is also how you romance Wilhelmina. I have a guide for that linked in the description if you need help with that. Alternatively, you can complete the quest Short-Sighted Ambition, which can be started by buying an item from Isaac at his stand. If you'd like him to work here, you'll actually need to fail the Short-Sighted Ambition quest by giving Isaac the real grimoire he requests instead of a forged copy of it. This ends up getting Isaac's family killed and means there is now a job opportunity for Hugo. In my playthrough, I gave Isaac a forged copy, thus saving his family and locking myself out of the option to send Hugo here. It's recommended to complete either one of these quests prior to completing part 2 of Hugo's quest, but they can also be completed after if it's absolutely necessary. Once you're ready to continue Hugo's story, you can head to Bakbatal and speak to the guard Benjamin found near the ox cart to learn that Hugo has been sent to the Batal jail. This will trigger the quest off the pilfered path, which should mark the jail on your map. If it's not marked, or if you didn't get the quest from Benjamin, then the jail can be located north of Flamebearer Palace. 
Head there and speak to the man at the entrance named Ekrat. He'll take you inside to see Hugo, and if you've already completed the quest Told to Rest, you should find a man in another cell named Breft. If you're like me and had to stop doing Hugo's quest to do Told to Rest because Breft didn't spawn, once you've completed it, you will have to sleep in your bed or at an inn for at least a full day to get Breft to appear. Oh, and you also have to speak to Hugo in the cell, which may require initiating some dialogue with the nearby guard before you bother trying to rest at your house or at an inn. If Breft still hasn't spawned, make sure to spam interact with Hugo and the nearby guards to try and get any new information out of them. If you have to do it this way, you'll know he's going to be there when you speak to Benjamin and he says they've found another coral snake. Once Breft is in jail, speak to him to learn that Lonzo, the leader of the Coral Snakes, is the one who killed Hugo's parents, and Hugo has no idea. Once you learn this, you can tell the truth to Hugo, which will prevent him from having any more dialogue. This is required to get the best possible ending. There are a dozen slightly different outcomes to this quest that you can get, those being things like not telling Hugo the truth or helping him escape the jail early, but none of those things are going to help you get the best ending, so just stick to what I'm recommending here. After you've told Hugo the truth, go rest to pass time for a day, and then when you return to the jail, you'll find that Hugo killed Breft and escaped his cell. After learning this, you need to get to the ancient battlegrounds ASAP and fight your way through bandits to reach the top where Lonzo is. If you take too long to get here, Hugo will beat you here and Lonzo and Hugo will have killed each other and you'll get the bad ending. So be quick and then kill Lonzo to trigger a cutscene of Hugo arriving at the location expecting to fight him himself. He'll then talk about how he's always wanted to try living an honest life and ask you if you have any jobs for him. This is where you can select the option The Rose Chateau or Isaac's Shop depending on which quest you've completed. Regardless of your choice, giving him a job is considered the best ending and because you were able to offer Hugo guidance, you'll get 4500 XP, 7000 gold, a white kerchief, and the Frosted Edges Thief Daggers which were Lonzo's weapons and they look really cool. You can then visit Hugo at his job after a day to check in and see how he's doing. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can complete the Rose Chateau and Isaac quest once you've already killed Lonzo and finished Hugo's quest. You'll just have to tell Hugo never mind when he asks about a job until you can actually recommend one. Hopefully this guide was thorough enough to help you get the answers you need and get the best ending to these quests. If you enjoyed the video then subscribe to the channel and stick around because I've got more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides coming very soon.